There is an emerging narrative from pundits across the political spectrum that Trump's hush money payments to Stormy Daniels weren't that important. This is wrong, Stormy Daniels matters. Trump's $130,000 payment to Stormy Daniels was effort to subvert the democratic process. Voters have a right to know what you are saying and doing to get elected. If Trump is charged, it will be because prosecutors believe he violated the law to hide information from voters. Trump, in a statement released by his 2024 campaign, now says he is the victim of an extortion plot, yet he is the one being prosecuted. This is not what happened. Daniels sought to sell the story of her alleged relationship with Trump beginning in 2011. Daniels gave Life and Style an extensive interview in exchange for $15,000. That would be an end of it, but Trump bullied Life and Style into killing the story with legal threats. Prior to the 2016 election, Trump conspired with Michael Cohen and executives at the National Enquirer to catch and kill any negative stories about Trump. Daniel's story became more valuable after the release of the Access Hollywood tape. Per the catch and kill agreement, the National Enquirer negotiated to pay Daniels $120,000 to keep her story out of the press in the days before the election. But the tabloid had recently paid $150,000 to another woman to protect Trump and its publisher. Cohen conferred with Trump, and they decided to make the payoff themselves. So Cohen reached an agreement to pay Daniels $130,000 for her silence. But he had no idea where to get the money, so he delayed. On October 25th, 2016, two weeks before election day, Daniels's attorney told Cohen that he was canceling the deal. Daniels's story would go public and she would also reveal Trump's botched payoff effort. Had the truth emerged in October, 2016, it could have played a decisive role in an election determined by 70,000 votes across a handful of states. Instead, Cohen drew down 130,000 from a home equity credit line and transferred it to a shell company which paid Daniels's lawyer. There was a great deal of effort to obscure Trump's involvement with the payment. In the non-disclosure agreement itself, Trump was referred to by a pseudonym, David Dennison. A separate side agreement identified Dennison as Trump. A few days later, Trump won the presidency. Trump and Cohen then conspired to hide the reimbursement of Cohen's payment to Daniels. Cohen submitted fake invoices to the Trump organization. Trump himself signed the checks. On April 5th, 2018, Trump was asked if he knew anything about the payments from Cohen to Daniels. He claimed he knew nothing. Trump schemed to hide relevant information from the voting public in the days before the election, engaged in an elaborate cover-up, and then lied about his involvement. This is Popular Information, a newsletter that holds the powerful accountable. Now follow along here and subscribe for more accountability journalism.